Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this is the video for the March Snacku box, which if people didn't know what this is, just go back to my first video, which was for the February Snacku. Basically, it's just a bunch of snacks from Japan curated by a guy, Shigeki, who um, I think the whole story was that he had been going to Japan for some reason and then coming back to the United States and kept bringing snacks with him and would give them to other people and they'd be like, oh, can you pick me up this or that when I when you go back? Um, so then he was like, hey, I can make a whole you know business model out of this. So that's how you have Snacku. This is the tasting box version, which is the cheaper of the two. The regular box has a lot more items and it has more of those items. This is usually, I think, like five to seven items and it's just smaller portions. So as it says, tasting box, you're just gonna taste a little bit, which is perfect for me because I just wanna taste a little, I don't want a ton. Um, so I'm got my water sitting over here. Make sure you gotta have some water for these things. So like I said, this is the March one. I was quite happy with the February one last month. So go ahead and check that out. I uh, will read off the card. So this one, it doesn't say it on the card, but this is Osaka. This is the theme for Osaka for March. Just as a reminder, like each month, it's a, a different region typically that's that's uh, highlighted. Except for last month, it was just kind of like love or like things associated with like uh, Valentine's Day. So, uh, not gonna read you information on Osaka, but if you want to pause and read, there you go. You can do that. You can read the information on Osaka. So there's a few things in here. Uh, it's always nicely wrapped in there. Let's pull this thing out. A little bit of tissue paper. And you can see, packed for how small this is, oop, one fell out, but for how small this is, it's packed pretty tightly. You can see all that stuff, tons of stuff. So we're gonna go through this. I'm only gonna eat a little bit of each one of these because I then share them with my wife because she wants to try them. So thankfully there's two of these, which I'll just kick this off with. Uh, and this is the, sorry for my pronunciation up front. Uh, okonomiyaki, okonomiyaki sunbai, I believe. Uh, it's a savory version of a Japanese pancake made with flour, eggs, shredded cabbage, meat, and topped with a variety of condiments. It's apparently very popular street food. Um, that was actually created on the streets of Osaka, apparently. Uh, this one's busted up, which, you know, that's gonna happen when it's being shipped. But, it smells fishy. It's only like shrimp. As you can see, not quite sure exactly what all the stuff is, but it smells very, very fishy. It's good. It's got like a like a crunch and a consistency that's between a cracker and a chip, really. I get a lot of kind of like the seafood coming through at the end, which is coming off kind of like shrimp. There's a little sweetness up front. Do I love this? No. Do I dislike it? Also no. I'm in the middle on this. I don't like love it. I don't hate it. It's interesting. The fishiness is probably what's going to turn most people off. I'm trying to figure out what's on there. I can't. I think it um, looks like maybe like a dehydrated uh, tomato on there. Can't really pick out all that many actual items. But yeah. Might not be um, shrimp actually. It might just be like pieces of dehydrated fish on here. But... That's an interesting one. The Okonomiyaki Senbai. Not bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. I have a feeling my wife's not gonna like that one. We'll see. All right, so the next one, this one's real interesting looking. This is a black sesame Senbai, also like a rice cracker. Uh, it's a soy sauce rice cracker, twice toasted and embedded with baked black sesame seeds. I better cleanse my palate because of the fishiness. Looks like it's from Halloween time because there's like a ghost 
in there, which is weird. Pull this sucker out. Kind of looks a little bit like a like a pork rind in a sense. You can see. It's a little bit like a pork rind, but with rice. I'm gonna smell that soy sauce. Oh. There's like a tanginess up front. I get that with a lot of like rice crackers. And um that's one of the things I really like about rice crackers. So this starts with that tanginess. It's more dense than I thought it was gonna be, but that's good. It adds more crunch. So a consistency thing is, is kind of like a fun thing for snacks for me. Hmm. So I don't, hmm. I was gonna say, I don't necessarily taste the sesame, but actually, as I was saying that, I think I started to actually taste a little bit of the sesame. So really, plenty of soy sauce. The sweetness on there is almost a little bit like an apple cider vinegar without the sour vinegar portion of it, which is kind of weird. I mean, you definitely get the rice flavor and the sesame. It's really good. I actually really like this. I'm, I'm a rice cracker fan anyway, so something like this is like bound to please for me. So that was the black sesame senbai. Mm. Oh, I'm like the residual like soy sauce um, on there. Oh my God. Honestly, like that like soy sauce uh, coating on the outside is way more rich and flavorful than any other ones I've had from uh, rice crackers in the United States. That's delicious. I like that a lot. Mm. I hope my wife takes one little bite of it and doesn't like it because I want to finish it. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's not an additional one in here. Boo! But, you know. So there are two of these, though. Take one of those. This is the Okoshi. It's a traditional puffed rice snack um, made with Miyazaki rice. Oh, so I don't know if pe people probably want to see the packaging, or some people probably want to see the packaging. You can see it right there. Yeah, it kind of looks like a Rice Krispie treat with larger rice pieces, or crispy, like Rice Krispie pieces. See, it's kind of like a, yeah, like a Rice Krispie treat looking ordeal. You definitely get a lot of that rice flavor to it. There's a sweetness like honey. Yeah, it's like puffed rice with like a honey sweetness to it. And it comes off a little like cereal-like. Like, not quite. It's like um, golden grams without like the cinnamon. Almost a little bit, like a little graham crackery. Pretty good. It's just kind of like a, yeah, it's kind of like between like a Rice Krispie treat and like graham cracker ash like version of that with a lot of honey flavoring to it. It's very like cereal in the way it tastes. I don't love it. It's okay. That um, black sesame senbai was awesome, though. Decent. Next thing, we get two of these. These are sweet bean cakes. Very excited about these because uh, my favorite thing from the last box had like uh, red bean paste in it. There's just the. It was like little um, pancakes with like red bean paste in between. So let's try these sweet bean cakes. Uh, soft, chewy, baked dough filled with Japanese sweet bean paste. Yeah, they feel, you know, they feel a little bit hard on the outside because they're they're like toasted, but um, a little bit soft when I apply pressure to it. And it looks like there's like a sweet sauce maybe on on the top there. And then when I shake it, I can hear the paste on the inside. It's like one little brick and it's moving around in there. So I know it's in there. It's 
very cake-like on the outside. As you can see, a bit in there. And there's just that bean paste in there. It actually kind of tastes similar to that thing I was talking about having last time, but not as good. It's mainly just very cakey, um, and it's less like pancake cakey like the other one, and more kind of like a really like light cakey cookie. It's like sugary, a little bit of vanilla to it. And then that red bean paste, like I described in the last video, tastes a decent amount like a, like fig, just like a sweeter version of a fig. That's solid. Once again, like I don't love it, but I like it. And uh, glad I had the opportunity to try it. Let's save that one for last, maybe. I'll go with this one. All right, something I'm potentially not gonna like at all because it's a flavor thing for me. This is Osaka Mochi Banana. Uh, it's a traditional baked castella and mochi cake made in Osaka that's filled with banana custard. I'm not a banana fan. Now, let me qualify that by saying that I like bananas, but I don't like banana flavored things and I typically don't like banana in things, so. For that reason, if I don't like this, it's just going to be because I'm not a banana person. Well, I guess I can't say it's just going to be because of that, but it's going in with that disadvantage. Let me say that much. All right. Oh, it's cute. It's like, literally looks like a little banana. And it comes with, like, one of those little whoop, silica packets to keep moisture down because, oh, my God, it smells so much like banana because it's really, really soft. You probably can't tell. Let me see if I can I can show you like how see how much I can like squish it. Like really, really soft and spongy. It smells so much like banana. But honestly, it smells like a mix between like actual banana and like a banana flavor. Like the banana runts have just like a artificial banana. It's kind of between the two. It's shaped like a little banana. Or try it. I mean, it, I could see people who like banana stuff really enjoying this. It's not for me so much, just because, like, if you can see that, there you go. It's like a, you see that? It's kind of like a paste in there. So it kind of tastes like and has a consistency of like like a mashed up banana, but it's sweeter. It's got that banana flavor, but it's sweeter. And it also has that kind of like sugary, artificial banana flavor as well and smell. Um, but I think that someone who's really into like banana flavored things and things made with banana could really like this. It's not my thing though. Not my thing. Yeah, very sweet though. I could see actually kind of enjoying that if it was literally the same like, you know, real soft cake on the outside, which is like really nice and soft with actual mashed banana in there with like no extra sweetening. I could probably like that, but that's just me. Uh, the next thing, this is interesting. Um, this looks like this might be an extra something that was thrown in here. Yeah, this is an extra because it's not on the card here. And I think this was actually from January's box. Maybe he had some extras. Because uh, I forget what region that was supposed to be. But they did a lot of stuff with like potato items. And like purple potatoes and stuff like that. So I was kind of interested in that. So this one looks like a, like a little pastry with um, whipped like potato, purple potato. Surprising new sweet with a classic taste is what it says on it. But it doesn't say what it is. Unless I could read Japanese, which I cannot. Oh, it says tart on there. But it's platinum sweet tart. I don't know. So I'm assuming it's going to have sweetness to it and be sugary, which would make sense. Let's see if I can 
find an easier way in. Oh, it has like a little rip tab area. Oops. I'm gonna make a little bit of a, ooh, getting crumbs all over. I'll have to clean that up later. All right, here we go. So yeah, it's just like a, like a little pastry boat with the purple, what I assume is potato. Oh, it smells really sweet though. Vanilla-y. Actually kind of smells like a vanilla wafer, like those vanilla wafer things. That's what it smells like, sugary. That's definitely purple potato. You get that immediately from the consistency and like how starchy it is. You know how like potatoes, like after you've had mashed potatoes and then they like kind of set in the refrigerator, like that consistency when you bite into them if you don't warm them back up, it's that. But there's like a decent amount of sugar added to it and it tastes a little vanilla-y. Hmm. For being potato, it doesn't taste as much like potato as I would assume it would. So I guess that's in its favor, actually, because, you know, who really wants to eat a pastry that, that tastes like straight up potato? Because potatoes are pretty bland, let's be honest. I don't love that. It's okay, and it's especially because of what it is, like being potato. So, I don't know. Not big on that one. But it's fine. All right, next. What the? Oh, I'm going to leave that one for last. So you got two of this next one. This one looked very interesting. Osaka Choco Egg. It's a bite-sized cake in the shape of an egg covered with white chocolate. Apparently these are like really popular in Osaka specifically. So as you can see, it says Osaka Choco Tamago. Once again, my pronunciation, how I'm saying things, I'm sorry. I don't know Japanese. I'm just, I'm guessing at how these words should be said. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Yes, you can tell it's covered in white chocolate. And it's egg-shaped. Yes. And it's soft, though, under it, because I can squeeze it. You can definitely taste the white chocolate on the outside. It's like a little bit waxy, as white chocolate typically is. There's a little bit of a lemony flavor in there, and it's very, very sugary. So the inside on the card looks like it's supposed to have like some sort of like lemony filling, and you probably won't really be able to see it, especially because like the crumbs. Let's see if that like helps with the lighting. It's like in there. You can't really see it too well. And I believe that's probably where I'm getting that kind of like low, like lemony flavor. There's like a vanilla in there too. It's very, very cakey, very light, very moist. Um, that's pretty good. I like that one. That's good. And actually that, like while I was saying I do get the flavor of the white chocolate and definitely the like the waxy consistency, I think it's coming off a little bit more vanilla than like white chocolate, which is fine with me because I'm actually not huge on white chocolate, so. Now we're coming to the final uh, item. It is Pucho Cola. Puka Cola or Pucho Cola. Uh, it's a fun, fizzy, cola-flavored yogurt candy. And apparently, once again, it says on here it's very, very popular in Japan. Not just in Osaka, but Japan in general. Oh, sorry, I probably should have showed you. That is the packaging. You see some cola over here. Yep. All right. I'll give this a try. I'm very, I'm very interested in this because this could be really weird. Individually wrapped, kind of like little pieces of gum. Okay. So it says yogurt covered. Yeah, it looks like it's yogurt covered. I mean, they look like little, kind of like a little bit lighter in coloration, like caramels. So I'm sorry. My MacBook was trying to shut down on me. 
So there you go. Looks like little caramels. They're soft. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's like a chew. I'm getting a fizz in the middle. Dude, these are cool. These are cool. I like this. So, I don't need a whole lot of candy like this. I don't need a whole lot of candy in general. There were a whole lot of sweet stuff, but I like that a lot. Totally tastes like cola. It's chewy. It's like a little bit chewier than something like a Starburst. And once you bite and get far enough into the center of it, it does kind of like fizz. Like the fizzy stuff kind of explodes in your mouth and you just kind of like feel the fizz going through throughout your mouth and the flavor along with that of the cola. Mmm. Totally tastes like cola. It actually tastes like, um, if anyone's ever had like those little gummy colas, which I think are made by like Haribo or Haribo. Tastes like that, but in like... You know, like Starburst type form. Very robust flavor. That's really good. Totally tastes like cola. That's fun. I like that. And that's it. Uh, that's all that was in there. I mean, I say all, but like that's a good amount because this is $15.75 and that includes tax, that includes shipping. So I'm totally good with that. So let's do kind of like a little bit of a recap real quick of what I did and did not like. Uh, the Osaka Choco Egg, pretty good. The Mochi Banana, not my thing. Some people may like it. I don't know. The Okonomiyaki Senbai, kind of weird. It had a lot of fishiness to it, um, but I didn't hate it. It was okay. Uh, the Okoshi, right there, that was kind of like the Rice Krispie Treat. Mm, I mean, it, it didn't have a whole lot going on. It was very, like, honey-like. Black Sesame Senbai, that was one of my favorite things in this box. That is so tasty. So, so tasty. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. The Sweet Bean Cake down here, that was pretty good. Um, a lot of like that sweet red bean flavor to it. Uh, very bready, moist. And then the Puko or Pucho Cola right down there, which we just had. Excellent. Very good. And then the extra, that... Uh, that uh, purple potato tart um that was i mean it was potatoes with sweet sweetness added it's okay um overall this was good uh i got enough stuff out of it that it's totally worth it for me like i said it's not a very expensive box or anything so um the main allure is just trying new stuff from over there it's really really nice actually it's interesting because the aftertaste of these like cola things there's like a mintiness in there that's kind of like lingering in my mouth, which is one of the components of that's going into the cola flavor. Um, so it's very interesting. Um, but yeah, no, I like this. Snacku, keep doing what you're doing. I cannot wait to get the next one. I can't wait to just keep going with this. People, let me know if you like this. Please uh, share the video with people. Tell people about it. Uh, put a comment down below like it, uh, subscribe. That's a really big thing that people can do is subscribe. Um, if I can start monetizing my channel, which I'm a long ways away from being able to do, uh, cause you have to have at least a thousand subscribers to start getting into that. Uh, but if I could monetize it, I would think about expanding, maybe doing more food boxes, more like item boxes, excuse me, basically whatever people would want to see. Um, so please help me with some subscribes, get for your friends to subscribe, your family members, whatever, and that would be really awesome. But thanks for checking this out. Uh, I would recommend you guys sign up for Snacku too if you liked what you saw here and in the last video. But at the least, keep coming back each month and I'll tell you what I think of this stuff. And until next time, keep it brutal. Thanks.